Very interesting because I think, uh, you know, Indo-Pacific clearly is the flavor of the year or flavor of the decade, I think. Uh, and uh, for, for the uh, American president to raise Indo-Pacific in such a big way uh, or it, mention it with the, when he's meeting with the Chinese president for the first time uh, indicates, I think, differences between them rather than convergence because Indo-Pacific is not something that the Chinese like. They don't appreciate when Indo-Pacific is used as a term. They don't. Uh, they think that Indo-Pacific is something that is being used to contain them. So clearly, even in the first uh, engagement uh, between the two presidents, uh, it, what it shows uh, that there is a wide chasm between the two countries. The com competitive element is strengthening and cooperative element is weakening. And I think it is also significant to note that uh, within the first three months of his coming to office, Mr. Biden uh, held uh, the the uh, a virtual summit for the Quad leaders, uh, and uh, there is going to be an in-person summit of Quad uh, later this month. So clearly, I think Indo-Pacific is going to be a very very important fault line between China and in uh, and the uh, and the U.S. And that is also shaping the larger realities in the region. Are you saying there's reason for greater concern after this call than assurance? Well, I, I think this is this is. Uh, I am just saying that there's a you know the the underlying realities in the relationship in the region in the wider international system are such that I think we are moving uh, away from even uh, the rhetoric of cooperation. We are moving towards uh, the you know the engagement, which is becoming I think as both Biden's team and Xi Jinping's team has po have pointed out that it was a candid conversation. When you say candid conversation in diplomacy, it means uh, that differences were aired. And I think the fact that Indo-Pacific as a term was specifically used, uh, it's, you know, it is, it is a pointed reference to something that the two countries look at the region differently, they look at the region requirements differently, and they look at their roles in that region differently. Okay. Uh, what about India then, uh, given the yeah. fact that we are having the BRICS summit also right now? Yes, I think that is, uh, you know, that is interesting because India feels that it can, for the for the moment at least, navigate uh, these two bridges because you clearly have the Quad on one hand and BRICS on the other. But uh, but if you look at the reality, there also we have seen that BRICS, uh, although celebrating its 15th uh, year of establishment this year, anniversary this year, so there is clearly there was, you know, there was a lot of uh, talk about uh, what how what kind of a role. Uh, BRICS has played in the international system and clearly did play a role in highlighting some of the issues like multilateral reforms and now, of course, regional security where China uh, and Russia and India to some extent look at the regional uh, issues from the Afghanistan perspective similarly. But I think the challenge has always been that at the heart of BRICS sits India-China rivalry. The elephant in the room is India-China rivalry. And we know what has been happening for the last year uh, and a half now. Uh, that Tensions have been brewing between the two countries. Border issue remains very volatile. So really, I think the challenge for India is what, how can India manage a very important neighbor like China without actually uh, spilling over into conflict? And that's a, you know, that's something that is not very different from what Mr. Biden and and his team are trying to do and say. Because Mr. Biden's statement also pointed out that he would like uh, the relationship to be such where channels of communication are open. Uh, but we do not end up into a rivalry, uh, you know, into an open conflict. So I think that the challenge for India at the moment is uh, very significant when it comes to China. And, the, and therefore, BRICS allows India a platform where it can engage with China as an equal and also moderate some of the issues that are there inherently uh, conflictual issues in Sino-Indian matrix.